more on SMB reports, we look at how multiple ownership of stores is affecting vendors that were just off the street. Following the allegations of multiple ownership of stores around marketplaces, Smart24 TV visited Nakasero to investigate on the matter. Now, Bukenya Henry, the manager in charge of commercial markets, and also at uh, Nakasero, accepted that there is a multiple of ownership of stores, but this is due to the number of factors, as he highlighted. At the start of the year, the resident city commissioner of Kampala, Hood Hussein, directed that vendors should vacate Kampala. The operation was done across the different places within Kampala, especially Nasa Road. The vendors were directed to go and conduct business in designated places like Usafi, Wandegea, Nakasero, Kasubi, amongst others. <laughs> However, there has been public outcry that these places are fully occupied and there are people that occupy more than one stall, not giving space for other people to conduct business. Smart 24 made a visit particularly to Nakasero Market to investigate truth behind this. And Tabo Ziharuna, the general secretary of the market, refuted the allegations. <laughs> to allocate. But already the stalls and the low caps are all full and they are registered. They are, they are registered. So there is no way you, are, you can get a stall in a casero or a low cap. Maybe when somebody surrenders it to KCC as per the guidelines and laws governing these low caps that you can get one by, from our sphere as KCC but not from the management. But with the open spaces, if somebody leaves the space, if somebody leaves the space, then the management can find one who comes and, and requires for one. Tambuzi asserts that it's only Kampala City Council Authority that allocates such charges. My last remarks is I urge every Ugandan, uh, every Ugandans and the vendors at large that COVID is still here. They should abide by the SOPs and we are vaccinating people here. Let them please come and be vaccinated. Kampala City Council Authority is mandated by the Constitution to regulate business in Kampala and commercial markets being one of them. Meanwhile, the commercial manager, City Council Authority, Henry Bukenya, revealed some of the issues. Established or we are supposed to be established by the government. Unfortunately, that is the law that we are still operating in, 1942. And then, markets we are supposed to be agro-based. Regarding the matter of multiple ownership, Bukenya revealed that yes, it does exist, but this is as a result of many factors, land being one of them. The reason why we are talking about <clears throat> multiple ownership, it's called multiple ownership. There are some markets which had been built by vendors themselves. But again, those markets had been built on government land. Okay? Take an example of Nakawa market. It is one of the markets where vendors invested in constructing those stores and lockups, but it is sitting on government land. So during the time the redevelopment of, of that market started, all of those that could be able to invest in more than one store were allowed to do so. So it's one of the reasons as to why you hear of multiple ownership. Bokenya reveals that regarding charges, some little amount is charged. He also appeals to the public to get to designated places. Only charge that is supposed to be paid by that person is 6500 and it is per month it is per month so we don't charge any other fee apart from that therefore the process for you even the new markets which we are constructing it will be the same basis first come first serve you apply if there is availability of space it is allocated